Hello everyone. In today's video, I just want us to look at step by step on how we grow hydroponic fodder for livestock, poultry, and so forth. You can really see how my chicken enjoys eating uh, this hydroponic fodder. It is so nutritious, has a lot of nutrients, and uh, it reduces on feed. I normally use hydroponic fodder as a supplement to the commercial feeds. But I have reduced commercial feeds from 100% to 34%. So 34% is what I normally feed my <coughs> chicken on, that is on commercial feed. Then 66% is normally on fodder. So you can see, since the cost of feed is too high, I have my own way on how to supplement uh, what I have already. Now, what you require is only tree seed and water. The following are some of the seeds that you can use. Seed number one, you can use barley, you can use wheat, you can use oat, you can use maize, you can use sorghum, and uh, so many cereals, you can use them as the seed. Let us look at uh, how to produce uh, this fodder step by step. Number one, uh, once the seed have been uh, incubated and have already germinated, now it is ready for us to, to, to plant it. Remember, we are planting it on, uh, on plastic trees. Now, during this planting, what you need to do, number one, is just to spread the seed on the, the tree. You spread the seeds on the tree. And one tree normally takes 2 kg of seeds. Remember, at the end of seven days, it will produce 8 to 10 kg of the fodder. 8 to 10 kg of the fodder, which uh, you are livestock being a dairy or pigs or goats sheep or even a chicken will just consume everything and there is no feed loss so the folder is produced within short time then what you require is only water clean water and watering is normally done watering is normally done after every four or three hours in a day. Remember, you should not do it uh, at night, but what you normally do is uh, you just uh, water, do irrigation or do watering during the day in an interval of three to four hours, three to four hours. <clears throat> Number two was on the setting of the trees to the hydroponic unit from where now the seeds will be uh, watered for six to seven days depending on the use of the fodder. So under watering just require in a day at an interval of three to four hours you can water your seeds and uh, make sure that the trees that you're also using have some holes to make sure that all the excess water is draining out. If water won't drain out then the seed will start rotting uh, and finally what will be produced won't be of good quality. So we are here to produce something quality and remember after now producing and uh, giving to the livestock, the poultry or the dairy, then uh, an increase in production is expected. For example, for the, those who are using dairy farming, then milk production will definitely go high. Uh, not better. 
production of 8 to 10 kg of fodder is less than 100 bob. So the fodder is very cheap. Then the nutritional value, the protein in this fodder is so high. And that's why using this fodder also boosts the, the health of your animal, your birds, and so forth. At day three or day four, you can harvest it ready for the chick, the small chick, from one month going up. For the chicken, you give it at sixth day. So you should uh, give it to the sheep, give it to the cow at the seventh day. Thank you very much for watching. For more educative videos, please stay tuned. Thank you very much.